Now here's the GFS model in a fast loop, so you can see the path so far according to the GFS, which shows that it will not make landfall. And again, I'll show you exactly why that is in just a moment. Now this stall that you see right here, if you look on the top left, that happens for about 24 to 36 hours before it heads to the northeast. Now if we zoom in and slow it down, we can see that there is some green sparks that does come on this on the 19th early in the morning around 3 a.m. right there that's the first one and those are about at 90 almost close to 100 but not quite 100 uh, let me see if I can get that for you it's not easy to catch but yeah right about 100 102 that's 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 10 meter winds that is sustained winds but I show that the power don't stay there's a, just a couple of sparks of that and then it moves on see that it gets a couple of the 102s, low 100s. That's what the light green is if you look on the top. You need a dark uh, purple to get above that. And as it goes by. So I'll show you it does a couple of sparks. Then again, this is kind of far ahead. If you look on the top left, this is the 20th. That is leaving, showing that it, that did not in intensify uh, so far. Now on the 20th, and what the GFS is showing so far is at 7, 8 a.m., it meets up with the high pressure that's coming down from the north. It's protecting the whole east coast, which is a great thing. And it's bringing tropical storm force winds. That's what this white is that you see here. All the white is tropical storm force to low 40s. It depends how dark the white actually has in it. And as it meets up with it, it keeps it at bay. It twirls it around for 24 to 36 hours right here off the east coast. And then it finally draws away to the northeast. Here it is on the 22nd. The high pressure starts moving away, giving it a little more room to breathe, and it starts moving away with the northeast. According to the GFS, the Euro shows that after this movement, it heads more west and heads in, but then again, this is far away, too far to be sure about the definite track of this. But it does show it is headed that way towards the east coast, but the high pressure uh, will stop it from going in so far. Let me show you what I'm talking about as far as that information. Now, on the 102nd hour, on the Euro model, and our Euro has been pretty good at so far as far as Sally going on. Uh, the JFS was correct on impacts for Laura, but the Euro has been right so far as far as Sally goes. Now, you can see it starts coming up on the East Coast over here. And then some fierce winds start coming with the, with the high pressure that comes from the north. I'll show you that in a minute. Now, the easily way to read these wind barbs is the half a barb is 5 and a full length barb is 10. And these low triangles are 50. So you can see that that's 60 knot winds. And that one is 45 plus knot winds. And it's all shooting north to northeast. It's going to create good shear uh, on this storm and keep it at bay. Now, as we follow it along the hours i'm gonna roll it up every one that we have here's 114 there's 126 138 you can see it all the way guiding all the way north and it's still giving shear uh towards new brunswick and curving right on in uh towards maine and all the states and it's keeping protection from that and it's showing it's going to keep it at bay then when we get all the way to the 144 hour it shows that it saved it from any impacts and it is moving away to the northeast. Now this is according uh, to the Euro model. And then when you get to the 150 hour, the, the high pressure's moved on, and instead of moving away like the GFS shows, the Euro model shows the wind barb starts moving into a north to northwest direction, and this is 75 knot winds, 82 knot winds, 88 knot winds, oh wow, 107, showing 107 knot winds, and this is moving and you can see the direction of these barbs. They point in the direction. They're moving north to north uh, west. Guys, th this could be something if the euro is correct. This is a lot of uh, uh, <laughs> a lot of pressure and a lot of wind speed. Now, as we go to the 156, you'll see it starts curving in 
towards Maine and New Brunswick, and it makes a sharp turn in right here, and it's and it still moves in, and, it, and then it moves to the north uh, east, right past Nova Scotia, and heads out at the 168 hour. Now keep in mind again, this is hours away, but it's up to the five day mark of the forecast of what could be happening uh, with this system. And here it is at the 156. There's a 162 hours. And now when I bring it to the vorticity, so you can see exactly what's going on with this cell with the movement. And again, we are at the Euro model. You can see every day when I move it through, the movement of this system, it will stall over the East Coast because of the high pressure, and it will bring it towards the Northeast. And then when it gets around the ridge of the high pressure, it's going to cut uh, northwest, according to the Euro, right into this area here towards Maine and New Brunswick. This is on a 156 hour run. There's a 162 hour, 168 hour, 174, it starts moving northeast and it heads out on the 180 hour mark. And I believe that is five days. Now, the GFS model, this is your. GFS, again, the GFS shows that it goes away and the high pressure, you see, you see the strong winds hitting it and then when it gets close to it, it's going to carry it uh, with it. You'll see it on the east coast, it kind of builds up. But it does carry it away and it don't even let it get close. So I'm hoping that the GFS is correct on this one as well, even though it's going to bring swells and rip tides uh, and waves on the shores. It's way better than a landfall. All right. Now, if we go to the Euro and high resolution, that way we can try and get some kind of reading of what's the, the chances of intensity. I can't read the right one right there, and Euro only has so many options as far as what you can read. But this is the 144 hour, the 150 hour, it gets down to 934 millibars. Then at the 156 hour, it goes to 946 millibars. Uh, as far as the winds, I'm seeing low 70s, a lot of 50s on one side, 60s so far. And then as it gets on 162 hour, it, it drops to 957. That's a lot of a lot of millibar drop. Then it then boom it. Right when it does the impact, I'm showing at 168 hour mark. It's right towards Maine, going towards New Brunswick, and it's 970. Uh, millibars. Now that's according to the Euro model, high resolution. Now again, here's a Euro model. I'm going to take you through this. There's not much uh, to look at, but I will click through every 24 hour period and you'll see this high pressure system move eastward. That's what's going to protect it from Teddy making any landfall. And that's according to what our Euro is telling us. Now here goes Sally leaving. And you see the high pressure ridge that builds up on the northeast. This will create all those winds that you saw me that I just showed you. And this is Teddy coming up. And as it comes up, it's going to keep high winds away. It's going to give it enough shear to where Teddy goes. And, but, but sorry to say, it looks like it, it could make a landfall in the northeast. It's still far away. Uh, I'm hoping that GFS is right. It just hooks, hooks away. I'm thinking that that could happen. But I am showing that the, there is a high pressure ridge at that time. And that could be. Uh, what helps this go away? Now, I like to pray and praise God. Keep these storms away from us. Keep protecting us through this uh, season. It's almost over. Just keep holding tight. So I'd like to, I'd like to, I'd like to pray that for God to please keep these storms away from us for the rest of the season. There's a lot of hurting going on from these last couple of storms, and we don't need another one. Please keep this high pressure from protecting the Northeast from from possible hurricane teddy landfall in jesus christ's name of nazareth we pray amen god i praise you psalm 64 a psalm of david hear my voice O god in my prayers preserve my life from fear of the enemy hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. 
They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately, they say. Who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope, hope you all have a blessed rest of your day. And I hope we, hope we don't have any more problems with these storms. man. I, I, I truly hope that God keeps us extra protected from any more storms we can't handle no more. All glory goes to God.